Well, Republicans are looking to hold on to the district two seat in the U.S. House. And that's the one held by Ted Poe, who's announced that he's retiring. The latest returns show GOP contender Dan Crenshaw in the lead with Democrat Todd Linton, Linton trailing. Let's go to Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez. He's live with reaction at the Crenshaw watch party in the Galleria area. Jonathan? Yeah, guys, if you take a look just behind me right now, Crenshaw giving his victory speech not too long ago. In fact, he is still meeting with the crowds on the other side there. Uh, he gave his victory speech about 15 minutes long. He said that Linton called him not too long ago. In fact, he was addressing the crowd a little bit ago. He talked about the fact that this is a grassroots effort. They really came together that led to this victory. He also talked about the fact that, you know, the work is really just getting started. They've won the race. As far as he's concerned, it has been called. Uh, but now the work begins. Let's take a listen to what he said earlier. This election, maybe the next couple of years, and hopefully the next 50 to 100 years, are, are going to be about understanding what we all believe in together, understanding the foundational values that keep us together. And that used to be comedy. It used to be sports. Let's separate politics from these things. Let's enjoy life together as Americans. Man, that's what I'd like to get back to. Right there was when he was addressing the crowd earlier, referring to the controversial SNL skit that kind of took jabs at him. But again, he just gave his victory speech. In fact, I believe he's speaking to the media. We're going to go ahead and make our way over there. But tonight, uh, it appears as if Dan Crenshaw has won the seat that is being vacated by Congressman Ted Poe, longtime congressman. We'll go see if we can speak with Crenshaw, and we'll bring you some updates in just a little bit. Guys, for now, we'll send things back over to you.